Hey everyone, this is Mike Neer and I want to thank you for joining me in my studio here. Um, today I want to take a look at the tune Almost to Tulsa by the great Bud Charlton uh, who recently passed away. Um, I've always wanted to play this tune and uh, I soon discovered after sitting down with it for a little bit that it's really not all that difficult. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's difficult to get the chops together but everything lays out so nicely in a C6 tuning. It's, everything's so logical. Um, and in order to play it, really the only thing we need to do is make one change uh, to our guitars. Uh, and that is to tune our E up to F. So I play the C6 tuning with uh, an E up on top. I simply turn it up to F. Now I've seen Junior Brown play this song and he plays with a C13 tuning with the first string tuned to a high G. What he does is he tunes the high G down to an F. Um, I find that is extremely difficult to block because you definitely don't want that uh, second string E to sound at all. I think what might be a, a better way for me to do it at least. Uh, I know Junior plays with a flat pick and with uh, two of his fingers. Maybe it's a little more manageable for him. But for me, uh, if I was playing in the high C6 tuning, I would tune the second string E up to F. And if I couldn't work that out, I would then tune the first string down to F. So I would have the two strings in unison at F. I think that would make things a little bit easier. Um, if you play pedal C6, the only thing you need to do is raise pedal 6, which will take your E string up to an F. Uh, again, you just have to be a little bit careful with the picking to avoid playing the first string, but other than that, you're good to go. So let me just uh, start off uh, slowly. Uh, here's the first pickup measure. Okay, now this is in F minor, as you can see. What we're doing there is just moving the bar across the strings, which is giving us a few pull-offs. I'll do that slowly. Okay. What I like to do there is actually lift the bar off the strings pretty well. I mean, you can just slide it back. You can do that, keep the bar on the strings, but I tend to lift the bar. And I do that by just, you know, rocking my wrist, or putting the, uh, you know, wrist down, which will in turn lift the bar up. Uh, again, here with the picking, slowly, you know, you get this. But at tempo, you don't have to be quite so perfect about it. You can get a nice percussive uh, sound by doing this little rake where you rake your first and second fingers. It's really not as hard as it seems. It's, it's, it's really harder to demonstrate than it is to actually do it. So. It's really a feel thing. You have to get a feel for it. That's really the only way I can explain it. Certain things that we do with our with the right hand, you know, it's just you have to really just get a feel for doing it rather than breaking it down slowly and doing it because there are certain things that just don't work at a slow tempo and a rake is like that is really one of those things that just doesn't uh, translate well to a slower tempo. It's 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 done at tempo and it's really all about getting the feel for that particular lick. 
So again from the top. Now I've added that note in myself. This note here. Um, on the recording, Buddy played it. But I like that little extra note. It gives me a little bit of balance there. This is the next lick that follows. And we finally use our open F string. And then we move the bar to the first and second string. Pull off. from the top. Then it's back to the top again. want to get there is the um, 13th flat 5 chord which we can't play with the non-pedal steel so I just go for those essential notes the 13th and the flat 5 the B and the D and it sort of gives the flavor if you have the bass and rhythm guitar underneath playing uh, the roots and a few of the other uh, chord uh, tones then you can just get away with playing and it'll give you the flavor um, Okay, so is there anything there about that? Yeah, you know, I, sometimes I really have to remind myself about doing this rake. Okay, now we have the strings tuned to the chord here. Okay. So when we do our rake, we, we could just go for it, man. We don't have to be really uh, particular about it. We need to get the rhythm of it. You see what I mean? You just go for it. Okay, so now we go to the bridge, which is follows the formula of like I got rhythm which is a uh, three dominant, six dominant, two dominant, five dominant formula. So you're in the key of F, the three dominant is A7. Uh, A7, D7, G7, C7 cycles back to F. So the, the bridge goes... Now if you notice the picking there, I listened carefully to the recording and I can hear him doubling up with the thumb. Which sounds a lot better than... sort of a banjo roll. And we just come back over the top with our thumb. 